Hey everyone, my name is Carlos Aragon. We are here today in the Astro Den of Reach for the Stars nonprofit. Today we have an awesome unboxing for you. We have the Dwarf 2 telescope from our friends at Dwarf Lab. And this is their second iteration of this telescope, the Dwarf. And uh, basically it's a small telescope that you can fit in your backpack per se. So that's what they, they've built and I've heard of great things about it. I'm really excited to dig in to see what this thing can do. And we have a lot of plans for this. We're going to be trialing this over the next few weeks. We get to keep this telescope for our nonprofits. This is now an asset of our mission to help them with their mental health issues through astronomy. So this is going to be key for that. So let's get into this. We have the box here from Dwarf Lab, nice and small. It's a little heavy, which is nice. Quality tends to come with weight for some reason in my mind. So let's go ahead and open this up. Drop this down a little bit so I don't slice the inside. So what they've done here, you can see there's a gouge on the side of this package, which came in the mail. If that happens, it's okay. But if they hadn't done this, check this out. If they hadn't made this, this, air, this air gap right here with this foam, it could have potentially punctured and damaged the telescope itself. But there's no damage that I can see on the actual box inside, which is a great thing. So let's go ahead and take this out. Move this over here. There's no damage to the box itself. So that extra gap really does make a difference, which is really cool. All right, let's rip her open. DwarfLab.com. Oh yeah. So the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope. I am so excited for this. I have some ideas as to what I want to do with this. And I'm excited to show you. Let's just say that. All right, peel, peeled off the seal and open. This is actually a very nice type of cardboard with a very nice texture to it. It's kind of like a soft, smooth, rubberized feel. All right. Dwarf Lab, see further. So we have a little box at the top here, and then the actual, nice, it comes with a little camera case. Looks like a DSLR, and it's the same size as, the, as my Canon DSLR bag, so that's super cool. So let's first open the top box, see what's inside here. Now it is November 30th. 2022 right now they're still in production phase and they're gonna start shipping in December I heard oh how cool okay it says tiny scope mobile microscope that's pretty cool we have some type of cigar cutter here that's nice that they included that I love cigars and we have some filters it seems so let's pull out the filters first if you can see that one looks like a light pollution filter the other two are dark, probably for the moon or sun. These look like 1.25 inch filters. And if that's the case, that would be amazing because we could use our own astronomy or astrophotography filters on this. And okay, so we have three filters here. There's a spare cutout here that's filled in right now. So you can remove that and use your own filter if you want, if this actually works. So the first one is... It is pink and green, which usually means light pollution or UHC. So UHC, Dwarf Lab, UHC filter. So that's the first one. Very nice. It's got a nice, nice deep color to it. And hopefully that's going to work very well here in our Bortle 4 location. Next we have the ND1 million 1.25 inch. Yeah, so you're going to be able to use your own filters in this, which is super cool. I am so happy that they did that because we have lots of fun astronomy and astrophotography filters that we can play with. Colored filters, light pollution filters, UHC, IR. So 1 million. Let's see if we can see through this at all. Nope. Using the light bulb. Yes. So this is a solar filter for definitely a solar filter. Very cool. Not only can you use this at night, but you can use it during the day. And then we have another 1 million. So there are two cameras on this thing. 
One is a wide and one is a telephoto. If you're pointed near or at the sun at all, you want all your cameras, all your lenses, all your optics covered. So they give you two, I'm only guessing for that reason, to have all your optics covered so nothing gets damaged or destroyed. So our cigar cutter here is very nice. It looks like it's built with very solid quality, nice material. It's got a um, Ursa Minor or Little Dipper on the front engraved in. And I'm guessing this is the filter holder. I don't know exactly how this works yet. The threads are on the back side. Very nice, okay. So this is the filter holder. I don't know if this slides in. There doesn't seem to be any slots. We'll find out together, all right? Very nice. I'm so excited that they use the standard 1.25 inch for their system. The tiny scope. Okay, Magnific magnification 400X. So it has an app store download on the side with a QR code. It shows some examples of what you could see. This is really cool. I did not know they included a microscope with this. So it says you can look at water drops, hair, cloth fiber, rice weevil, all types of stuff. And as it's very small, it looks like it clips onto the back of your phone or you could use your phone's camera. So let's just check that out real quick. Close this up, put that back. The packaging, everything seems very nice so far. I'm really liking the way that they built this. Tiny Scope product manual. Thank you for purchasing and using. Oh, cool. So there's examples. There's a locust leg. There's a lo lotus root. And then in the center is our microscope itself. Comes in a nice plastic case with a clip so you can keep it safe and protected. And then inside there's a foam casing. There's the QR code. And then, wow, they weren't kidding when they said tiny. That is very tiny. Um, yeah, this is not electronic. It's a clear see-through plastic case with the lens on it. Okay, so there's extra circular stickies so that I believe you can stick this onto the back of your phone where the camera is and then use it as a mobile microscope. So that is very cool. I'm definitely going to use that and let you guys see exactly what it can do. So that is very exciting. What a fun little addition and surprise. They don't mention that anywhere, as far as I know, on their website or on their Kickstarter. So that is very, very cool. All right. So first box complete. Let's pull out the main telescope itself. Nice box. I would hold on to that. Is it always nice to have a case? This little DSLR bag. This is the Dwarf 2 telescope. So get your DSLR out of here. Very nice bag, very snug, very tiny. In the top, we have a micro SD card, 64 gigabyte Samsung Evo. Very nice. Thank you, Dwarf Lab. That is a cool addition. Those are not cheap. So, <clears throat> next, we have the product manual and the quick start guide. Very cool in English and Chinese. Here we have the, ah, so this is a tripod, very cool. A tripod with a ball head, that's nice. I am digging that. It is a very small tripod, it does not extend, it seems. It is made of hardened plastic, it's got a nice texture, it does not feel like a cheap plastic. There are rubber feet, and the ball head seems nice and solid. The turning knob is, is somewhat stiff, which is good. You don't want your camera, I'm sorry, you don't want your dwarf two flopping around. There's a rubberized pad at the top, and this is just a good looking mini tripod, better than any of the ones that you can buy on Amazon for 15 or $25. You can take off the ball head, which is nice, I love the green, aqua green color of that ring. And yeah, a mobile option for you to use if you need to. So we'll put that here. All right, 
saving the best for last. Just bear with me, all right? Next, we have, it looks like a strap or some type of harness. Yes, we have the shoulder strap. Very nice. Typical shoulder strap. <clears throat> cool. I'm so excited to get started and play with this thing. You have no idea. There are pockets on the outside. Nice, flexible, strong pockets. There are strap or strap rings and everything here. My light keeps turning off. Okay, so next, let's get to the telescope. Wow, this is a nice weight to it. It is very, very solid. So let's peel this open. All right, here she is. Wow, interesting. I don't know if this removes. Very nice dwarf two telescope, smart telescope. So I've heard that this thing can do multiple things, including panoramas, videos, time lapses, all types of stuff like that. So I don't want to break this and pull it open. Okay, we're good. So there are the lenses. We have the tele the wide angle here, the telephoto here, um, and need to take off the little cap thread protector. All right, so this is a USB-C, I love it. A USB-C charging and possibly data transfer port. So that's cool. On the back here, this looks like, that's the battery, okay. There's a nice soft rubber padding on the inside. And wow, all right, that's a, a that's a beefy battery that is 5,600 milliamp hours at 20.72 volts. Um, that's a good size battery, guys. I'm curious to see how long that lasts. So very nice. Let's spin it around. I wonder if it locks. Yes, there's a lock. Looks like it has 360 or 350 degrees of rotation. Very cool. What else do we have? We have a metal strip up here. Not sure what that is yet. And then this rubber, I'm guessing this is where the storage device goes. A little difficult to pull off there. Yes, so that's your micro SD card slot. Very cool, if you can see that. All right, so actually let's put the micro SD card in while we're here. Again, I love the fact that they included a Samsung Evo card. That is very generous and very thoughtful. So they even include the adapter, which is nice. Let's see which way this plugs in. Not that way. So it plugs in upside down, which is fine. All right, we are in. Flip this around and we have the on button. We're gonna have to download the app here in a minute. All right, so there's some nice lighting here. I love the way it wraps around slowly. That is very cool. The battery is low, so we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. All right, so we have power, nice. All right, and it shows that it's charging with the circular ring there. Very cool. I'm really liking this setup. Let's check out to see how the filters attach real quick. I'm not sure if it's an internal thing. Telephoto tells you what side is which on the back. Wide angle over there. Ah, magnetic. That is freaking cool. Okay, we're good. That is very, very nice. So you just plop it right on the front there. It will not slide down. It will not slide up. So for solar observing or anything like that, it, it has that safety built in. So that is very cool. I love it. All right. Let's get the app downloaded. 
All right, so we're in the app and let's press connection. It sees the camera, so we're gonna tap it and connect. Both of the circles are spinning, and you can see here. Connecting to the camera. The Wi-Fi disconnected from the house. Boom, we're good. Just like that. All right. So here we have the system. Tracking initialization succeeded. We have a view of the wall here. Check that out. The, the tele, I'm sorry, the dwarf two is moving slowly in front of me, completely silently. And I have a, a zoomed in view here. Okay, so that's autofocus. You tap on the screen twice for autofocus. Let's see if we can move it outside here to get something cool to look at. How about, let's look at Super, Superman on the wall. So Superman on the wall is very close, so I wouldn't, wow, it can do it. Cool. So it's focusing on Superman, and this is shaky because it is on the table that, that we're sitting at. But wow. So we have a wide view up in the top left here. And then telephoto here. Very cool. Let's see if this can be dragged anywhere. Nope. Oh, I just pressed it twice and it switched views. You can see you guys right there. The camera. That is super cool. I love it. All right. <clears throat> Next we have outside to go look at. Let's get this ring light out of the way. It's super bright. I don't want to look at anyone's house. But let's go right there and see if we can autofocus, please. There's the focus button. So we can focus manually. Oh, that is just cool. Boom, look at that. Let's focus on the cactus in front. Very responsive. Very, uh, this is just so, so easy to use and very cool. So I can see the SD card up here in the top right. I can see my battery percentage. There's an option thing that says feature here. Not sure what that is yet. We have the focus on and you can use plus or minus button or press auto. So now it's focusing in the back. We want it to focus on the cactus. So let's move back to the cactus. Man, that is just so quick and so easy. Okay, so that's super cool. You have a nice smooth control and you can move it live while you're while you're panning around and slewing. So that is just awesome. Okay, and then we have the exposure levels. So that's cool. We have brightness here. We can go way down or way high and then way low. We have contrast settings, saturation, then we can go to sharpness. Oh, so that's for telephoto. And then there's another one for wide. So you can adjust everything on this. That is so, so cool that you have control of independent cameras and lenses there. That is just super nice. Nothing. So we have burst. We have time lapse. We have photo. We have video. We have pano, astro, and then astro dark. So far, I'm loving this. There's so many cool features here. Lots of control. I'm really excited for this. I'm really, really excited to take it out for a spin tonight and see what it can do. This is just a very nice little package, and it, I just see so much potential in this and how far or how much you could use it for, how many things you can do with this. It says it can do astrophotography of the galaxy, it com it's coming with UHC filters. I, I don't doubt it, really. It gives an example of the picture of the Andromeda galaxy, which is very nice. The Andromeda is one of the easiest and brightest targets in our night sky, so we're going to have to really test this thing on different different things during the day and at night, and some different deep sky objects. Nebula, galaxy, globular cluster, maybe dust. So they've done a very cool thing here with the, with the engineering design of the system and the integration with the app Everything just seems to work very well. Um, the only thing I thing I foresee being a problem is the text. It's, it all depends on what you're looking at. If you're looking at 
a bright blue sky, you're not going to see the white text. So if there's, if there's some type of code that they could write to change the contrast of that text or the color of that text compared to what the screen shows so that you can actually read what it's saying, you can actually see all the different adjustments and different points of, of calibration, that would be really cool. But that might be a little too much to complain about. If you're going to the Astro modes, you're going to be in the dark anyways, unless you're setting up beforehand in the daylight. How cool, what do you guys think? I would definitely buy this. The price that they're giving it out for, 400 bucks approximately, I would expect this to be around eight, 900, maybe 1200. Some of those companies really just make a product that's unique, that's fun, that's that you know futuristic a little bit, and and they overprice for. But this is only four hundred dollars. I would buy this for a photographer friend. I would buy this for myself. This is just a very cool system, and it's you know it's a it's an awesome little gadget that can fit in your backpack. I mean, this is just very nice, very well done, Dwarf Labs. I'm very excited to see what we can get into with this thing. The link for their website will be in the description below. Go check them out. There won't be another device like this at this price point for a while. From what I can tell so far, it's a great Christmas present. So thank you for watching and I will see you out there under the stars.